A coalition of residents is once again calling for better housing protections in South Shore neighborhoods. WGN's Gaynor Hall has the story. With construction well underway on the Obama Presidential Center in Jackson Park, Members of the Community Benefits Agreement Coalition say the city is not doing enough to protect residents in neighboring South Shore. As a senior condo owner, I feel vulnerable to displacement. This is not displacement theater, this is reality. It just saddens me that like people I and people who look like me won't be able to participate in all of the great things that the Obama senior is supposed to be bringing. Kiara Hardin says within a few years, rent on her South Shore apartment went from $900 to nearly $1,400 a month. She had to move to a different building. I just don't want to be displaced, and I don't want to have to leave the neighborhood that I chose. The Obama Foundation did not sign a community benefits agreement, but committed to supporting policies to ensure residents who want to stay in the area have the tools to do so. In 2020, the city council approved an ordinance with housing protections for renters and homeowners in Woodlawn. But that did not include South Shore, which leads the city in evictions. The coalition has a number of demands. They want 100% of the city-owned vacant lots in South Shore, like this one, set aside for affordable housing developments. They want to expand protections for homeowners and tenants, also taking steps to hold CHA accountable. We are asking the city for a dedicated rental fund for South Shore to help with rental assistance. We're asking the city for policies that help incurve evictions. Dixon Romeo says the coalition has met with city officials three times in the past seven months, but he does not believe it's a priority for the mayor. These residents say they need action now. We want to be able to stay for the Obama Center and would not be able to afford to if comprehensive housing policies are not put in place. In South Shore, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.